Hi there, my name is Richard Whoops. I'm Chief Executive People Make It Work. I wanted to um, uh, share in these five minute videos um, a few thoughts and insights uh, around managing people and leading people through um, change and uncertainty. Um, and in this video, I'm going to th think a little bit about um, drawing on our mission. So um, lots of our clients have been um, uh, thinking about uh, setting priorities, uh, directing teams and individuals, um, and uh, finding it overwhelming to decide how to respond and, um, and uh, how to set priorities in this confusing time. They've been um, feeling pressured by funders and by competitors and other cultural organisations in the sector who've been um, perhaps providing huge amounts of digital content or um, uh, sending out uh, charity appeals or um, responding with um, uh, uh, plans and descriptions of activity and trying to work out what's the authentic response for them. And I think authenticity uh, is right at the heart of that uh, question and right at the heart of the answer. So, um, uh, uh, when we're managing um, our people and helping lead our organisations through change and uncertainty, I think it's really helpful to come right back to mission and to ask the question, not how do we continue to do what we've been doing during these periods of uncertainty, but rather what does our mission demand that we do? What, when we stand in that question, when we explore what our audiences need, what our places need, what our mission demands. Um, I, find it, I find it's often a really clarifying perspective to help us to uh, find our way through um, the uh, complex landscape. Um, so my recommendation for you and your team, if you're wondering how to set priorities and how to explore at the moment is to go right back to those basics and look at your vision and mission and say, what does it require of us at this time? Rather than how do we generate income to cover our overheads or how do we, um, how do we think about um, continuing to deliver in a shutdown or post shutdown environment? Let's instead say, why do we exist? And how do we serve that mission um, at this time? What is required of us? How, how might we commission artists, producers, designers, curators and colleagues to respond to that mission and to that need right now? Um, I hope that's helpful. I appreciate it's uh, quite a straightforward thought today. Um, uh, but sometimes, uh, hopefully, there's uh, something deceptively simple at the heart of that question and uh, that it helps to clarify and sift amongst all the options, which are the ones that drive our mission forward. Thanks very much and good luck for all that you're doing. Thank you. Bye bye.